Going to school and having a family was challenging. My husband was the only one working. I rarely had any time to play with my kids. Time is something you can never get back, but I love what I do. We sacrificed a lot as a family, but it was a sacrifice well worth it. My name is Jennifer Treeman, and I'm from Hermosa Beach, California. I worked five years at a machine shop. No advancement, nothing new. About five years ago, I decided I want to be an aircraft mechanic. I have no background in aviation maintenance. I was able to get my airframe license in a matter of a year and start my career. The problem of finding well-trained employees is that fewer and fewer people are going to vocational school. North Idaho College, having them in our backyard is an enormous advantage for us. Because of the shortage in vocationally trained people, there's lots of opportunity. They can go immediately to work after graduation. In the aerospace industry, there's a labor gap coming. There's a wave of retirement expected, and where are the replacement workers? Someone's got to fix and maintain and fly those aircraft. The North Idaho College Aerospace Center helps to plug the hole, and it makes this rural community eligible to get our students, our workers, into the game. Aviation maintenance is a very safe industry to get into today if you're looking for a future-proof opportunity. As automation kind of infiltrates the manufacturing side of a lot of things, it doesn't really infiltrate the troubleshooting and maintenance. We've hired two graduates from the North Idaho College Maintenance Technology Program, and they've shown to be excellent employees. I think the most important thing an aerospace business could do to stay future-proof is not live in the past. We frequently work on aircraft that are 30, 40, 50 years old, but even so, technology is continually changing. It's easy to get stagnant, and if you get stagnant, you're going to choke. There are over 100 vacancies in manufacturing in this North Idaho area. So the NIC program, it becomes a feeder program for the emerging aerospace industry here in North Idaho. The NIC Aviation Maintenance Technology Program changed my life. The most awesome part about my job is that I get to work on helicopters and make them fly again. Our students come into it informed and come out of it equipped to succeed. Jennifer proves the case that where there's a will, there's a way. A mother with small kids at home and working, if she can do it, the guy that couldn't roll himself out of bed in the dorms has no excuse. The whole company has been very supportive of me being a wife and a mom. They're more than just my employer. They're my family. I knew that it was going to be a struggle for a year or so, but for her to get up and be happy on a day-to-day -day basis, totally worth it. Everyone has a dream when they're a kid, and to actually grow up and follow through with that, there's not many people that can say that they did that, and my wife has. I'm proud of her because she finished helicopters and she's going to be a helicopter mechanic. She's the only helicopter mechanic mom in our school. If I could tell my mom one thing, it would be that she rocks and she's amazing. To know how proud my family is makes it that much more worth it. I want to be the best aircraft mechanic there is. I want to be the best role model to my kids. Do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. It's never too late to start. Hi. I'm Jane Oates. I'm the president of Working Nation and an ambassador for IdeaGen. We at Working Nation are so proud to partner with IdeaGen to not only promote their events, but also to add our content. You've just viewed The Sky's the Limit, an original Working Nation piece that really gets to the nitty gritty of some of the biases in blue collar work. The video the young woman you met in that video from North Idaho Community College, is someone who broke the glass ceiling, who decided that she wasn't ashamed that she really liked to work with her hands. She wasn't ashamed that she liked to fix things. And she went to a great certification program 
at the college and became an aviation technician. Now, women are entering fields like avia aviation technician, auto technician, manufacturing technician, all across the world and even into construction. But in the United States, we're still woefully behind in getting women into those positions. So this is a call out. We need women in these positions to join the talented men who have always seen these occupations as a growth opportunity, as a career pathway, as a way to make a family sustaining wage. It's about the dignity of hard work, the dignity of good work, and being able to really support your family. Most of these jobs pay excellent wages, have great benefits, and offer some flexibility in terms of paid leave, either sick leave or family, uh, family sick leave. These are what we call quality jobs. So for the young women and not so young women, career changers in your network, make sure you let them know about the great career pathways that exist in jobs that historically have only been seen by men. Let's get some more women out there. We need the men that are in those positions are waiting for them and hopefully waiting for them enthusiastically. Thank you.